Angels have been associated with the Christmas narrative since its very inception. They played a significant role in the birth of Jesus, with the Archangel Gabriel announcing to the Virgin Mary that she will bear the Son of God, and an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream to tell him that he will serve as Jesus' father on earth. Angels were also the celestial heralds announcing Jesus' birth over Bethlehem. This image of angels high in the sky forms the foundation of our tradition of placing them atop our Christmas trees. As we trace the history of Christmas tree decorations, an intriguing tradition emerges. Early Christians, in a bid to add a touch of fun to the festivities, would pretend that angels were the unseen decorators of the Christmas trees. They wrapped paper streamers around the branches, telling children that these were strands of angel hair, left behind as the celestial beings leaned too close in their decorating efforts. Over time, this playful story led to a new kind of decoration. As people mastered the art of hammering silver and later aluminum into shiny, thin strands, the streamers evolved into what we know today as tinsel. This new decoration, with its radiant glow and delicate appearance, was an even more fitting representation of the angel hair caught in the branches. And so, the tradition of adorning Christmas trees with tinsel began, adding a shimmering touch to the holiday season and a nod to the angels in the Christmas narrative. To fully understand the tradition of placing angels on top of Christmas trees, we must journey back to the time when Christmas trees themselves were newly adopted symbols of the season. Evergreen trees were pagan symbols of life for centuries before Christians adopted them as Christmas decorations. Ancient people prayed and worshipped outside among evergreens and decorated their homes with evergreen branches during the winter months. As Christianity spread, these pagan symbols were incorporated into the new faith celebrations. After the Roman Emperor Constantine selected December 25th as the date to celebrate Christmas in 336 AD during his reign, the holiday fell during winter for all of Europe. Christians adopted regional pagan rituals associated with winter to celebrate the holiday. As Constantine had made Christianity the effective religion of the empire, some have speculated that choosing this date had the political motive of weakening the established pagan and druid celebrations. As we journey into the roots of Christmas traditions, it's fascinating to discover how far back some of our customs go. More than 2,500 years ago, ancient Romans celebrated a pagan festival called Saturnalia, dedicated to the god of agriculture, Saturn. This festival marked the end of the autumn planting season and the beginning of winter. During this time, Romans decorated their homes with wreaths and evergreen boughs to symbolize life's persistence through the bleak winter months. They also held a grand feast where they offered gifts to the gods, including dolls and caged birds to ensure their survival through the harsh winter. While we no longer offer such gifts to the gods, traces of these ancient rituals persist in our modern Christmas celebrations. We still adorn our homes with wreaths and evergreen decorations, and our Christmas feasts echo the grandeur of those ancient banquets. Perhaps the most direct link between Saturnalia and Christmas is the tradition of lighting up trees. The ancient Romans used candles to decorate trees during Saturnalia, a tradition that has evolved into our modern practice of decorating Christmas trees with twinkling lights. And let's not forget the indulgence in festive drinks. While the Romans may not have had eggnog, they certainly knew how to celebrate with a toast or two, a tradition we enthusiastically keep alive during our Christmas celebrations. So next time you're trimming your tree or raising a glass of eggnog, Remember that you're partaking in traditions that stretch back thousands of years, shaped by the ancient Romans and reshaped by the Christians to the customs we know and love today. By the Middle Ages, Christians were adorning paradise trees with fruits and pastries to represent the biblical story of Adam and Eve and the Christian ritual of communion. The first recorded decoration of a tree specifically for Christmas took place in Latvia in 1510 with roses adorning a fir tree. This quickly caught on with people using a variety of natural materials and baked goods, including angel-shaped cookies to embellish their Christmas trees. The English term Christmas, Mass on Christ's Day, is of fairly recent origin. The earlier term Yule may have derived from the Germanic Joel or the Anglo-Saxon Geol, which referred to the feast of the winter solstice. With time, the custom of placing angel figures on the very top of Christmas trees took root. 
The angels symbolized the celestial messengers proclaiming Jesus' birth over Bethlehem. For some, this was not only a way to honor the biblical narrative, but also a statement of faith aimed at warding off evil spirits. The earliest angel ornaments were handmade, often fashioned from cookies or straw. However, as the 1800s rolled around, German glassblowers began creating exquisite glass Christmas ornaments, and glass angels became a common sight on Christmas trees around the world. With the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, mass production of Christmas ornaments became possible, leading to a multitude of angel designs gracing the shelves of department stores. Today, angels still hold a cherished place in our festive decorations. From simple handmade versions to high-tech ornaments embedded with microchips that allow the angels to glow, sing, dance, and even play trumpets, these celestial beings continue to captivate us. The tradition of placing angels at the top of Christmas trees is steeped in centuries of history, culture, and faith. It's a practice that not only honors the biblical narrative of Jesus' birth, but also serves as a beacon of faith, warding off evil and inviting in the joy, peace and hope that the Christmas season represents. So the next time you place an angel atop your Christmas tree, know that you're participating in a tradition that spans the ages. As we reach the end of our journey through the history of Christmas decorations and the significance of angels, we hope you've enjoyed this illuminating trip down memory lane. If you found this video informative and inspiring, we'd love to hear from you. Like, comment, and share your thoughts or any personal traditions you may have regarding Christmas decorations. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more intriguing insights into the world around us. Until next time, keep the spirit of Christmas alive in your hearts.